My birthday is always a time for me to reflect on the past year and I'm so thankful for everything that I was able to accomplish. The best thing that could have happened to me was being given the privilege by God to perform Hajj this year. Nothing can ever amount to that experience and every day I'm thankful for it. My name is Hassanan and I'm starting a hijab movement. I believe that that visibility... Launching the PFH hijab movement was one of the most meaningful things to me this year. Let's be honest, given the political climate, it hasn't been the best time to be Muslim. But despite that, the stories these brave women shared of why they chose to remain true to being visibly Muslim was so inspiring. Over the year, I was able to participate in a lot of speaking engagements at different universities and conventions, but my most memorable one was at Princeton University. I was fortunate to be able to travel to a lot of cool places this year, from Montreal to Lake Tahoe to New Jersey to North Carolina, all the way to Instagram headquarters in Menlo Park. I've had a lot of fun sharing my style with you all. You're gonna love what I have for you today. And not to forget my PFH hacks that help you stay modest without compromising your values. I've also had a lot of fun doing blogger collaborations from the Christian meets Muslim segment I did with blogger Jessica Moore to the Q&A session I did with Asya. I was especially excited to launch my first ever hijab collaboration line with Velour Couture. But one of the most memorable moments had to have been the third annual PFH trunk show. Over the past year, our Muslim identity has come under attack time and time again. It's events like these that remind us how beautiful our religion is and gives us the opportunity to take pride in being Muslim. It's because of all of your support that this event has become the largest modest fashion convention in all of California. And I'm forever thankful. We're going to be modest and we're going to be damn good at it, inshallah. And we're going to love the way that we look and we're going to love, love, love our religious identity and we're going to own it. I was so humbled to be ranked one of the top 60 global modest fashion influencers and to make it on the front page of Huffington Post. I was especially thrilled to be featured on Glamour magazine. It's really a dream to see your work being recognized by major media outlets. It makes all the effort worth it. But my most cherished memory of this entire year was my husband graduating from Berkeley Law School. We've had to live apart for the past two years while he finished his degree, and that was no easy task. But it was all worth it when I saw him walk across the stage on the day of his graduation. He's such a rock star and inspires me to reach higher every day. Now that he's moved back, my heart and home are complete again. I can't thank you all enough for all the love and support you've shown me. It really means so much to me. And I can't wait to create new memories and milestones over the next year. 